Upright pianos are more difficult to work on in some ways than grand pianos because just getting back and taking out the hammer assembly is quite difficult. And so a lot of people just neglect this work. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to do this easily and be effective every time without dropping screws. Hammers tell a story. If you look at the string marks, some of the hammers are too far to one side or too far to another. These two right here, I've drawn a circle around the string cuts because there are actually no string marks there because it's so loose that it sands the hammer down every time they take a stroke. The hammer is going all over the place. This shows the note at regular speed, but look at it in slow motion. You can see how much movement there really is. You don't notice that till we slow it down. We need to fix this. Here's the main tools we're going to use. A rigid shaft screw holder. And you can buy them from shaft or from any piano supply, but this works really well to get the screw in. We're going to use a magnet, but these that you buy in the local hardware stores are too thick. You need something small like this that will go in without hurting the jacks and different things in there. This is a jack holder. It separates the jack from the let off button and holds the jack out so you can see in the hole. And lastly, a flange screwdriver. The shoulders are thicker than this. You can get in and not hurt anything with this slim shaft that we have here. And I always put a little divot right there. You might use a pair of needle nose pliers or something to grab the bridle strap and put it back on. My fingers are kind of big and clumsy, so I like to use something to put that bridle strap back on. Here's a closer look at the four tools we're going to use. Try to find a small little magnet. Um, that one is on a screwdriver I happen to have. First, remove the bridle strap so you won't forget where you are. Next, loosen the screw with your flange screwdriver, but don't take the screw out. Now, before you lose the screw or before it falls down, capture it with your little magnet. Step four is put that screw into your screw holder so it'll be ready to insert. Now remove the hammer and look at the repairs that need to be made. Now make your repairs. In this case it was a loose center pin and so we replaced the pin with a larger pin. Step six is to put the jack holder in. Now this is really important so you can see right down into the hole. With that jack out of the way you can clearly see the hole. Now it's very easy to take your screw holder with a screw in it, put the hammer back in. I think this is where I used to have all the problem, was just trying to put that darn screw back in the hole, but with the jack holder it's easy. Don't forget to put the bridle strap back on. And last but not least, put the spring in if it has an American type spring. Here's a piano I serviced that had really loose flanges. I don't think I've ever seen this before and it was only in the treble part of the piano. In this case I didn't have to remove the hammers but I just tightened the screws. If you look closely you can see the whole hammer assembly move. Here's the last tip of the day and it's about plate butts. So this is loose and it looked like it might have been this screw, the main flange screw that was loose but then you flip it over and you see, oh! It's loose right there. And so you really need to tighten these up. And one problem with these, sometimes anyway, is that you need a bigger screwdriver. Now that's all I need to do, and that's firm. It's not gonna be wobbling all over. You can even see on here, well maybe you can't see in the camera, but where it's wobbling so much that it's kind of sanding off the tip of the hammer. Now it's fixed.